here real quick today and show you how I do a fishtail braid. Uh, I get a lot of comments about the fishtail braid when I do it, so I figured I would show you. It's so simple. Um, I learned from various different YouTube videos, um, and then I adapted it to fit the way I like to do hair. I am going to be looking in the monitor, which is right here, so that I can see, because my mirror is too small. My mirror is this size. Um, so I have already, this is like three day hair. I have already added um, this, uh, this dry shampoo. I really like it because, first of all, it smells nice. It smells clean and fresh and it doesn't seem to leave um, major white. Uh, I keep saying, eh, I'm so out of whack. So I brushed through my hair so that I have it tangle free. The brush I'm using is a synthetic hairy Mason Pearson brush that I bought 300 years ago. Um, it's the detangler which works for me and it's not quite as expensive as the black one. So, I want to take a small piece of hair in the very front, give it a little twisty poos there and pin it. This is all very haphazard when I crisscross, if I can, my clips. Now, I'm going to sweep my hair to one side because that's where I like my fishtail braid to be. And for me, that is my left side. I always seem to do my fishtails or my braids to the left side. Now, nay free. So now I have a side ponytail that is approximately starting, it's approximately the width of my ear, right there. So now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to divide that ponytail as best I can into two equal pieces, like so. One top, one bottom. Now I can also, I can feel that my top piece is a little bit bigger than my bottom piece, but that's okay, we'll work with that. So now what I do is I take a piece of hair, you don't really need to hold on to that one, you take a piece of hair, that's too big, about a third, no, a quarter of the size of the top piece, and I take that underneath the top piece of hair, and I grab the bottom piece of hair, like so. Then I take a piece from the outside of the bottom, right here, and I trade that up to the top piece. I'm working backwards from a lot of the ways you're gonna see. So I'm kind of braiding it under. Now I'm gonna take a piece of hair from the top, twist it under, grab it from the bottom, same size piece from the other side, and I continue to grab little bits of hair you don't want to do this too tight. Well, I don't. I don't like it too tight. And as you're doing that, you will see in here that your fishtail braid is starting to manifest itself. So I'm grabbing quite large pieces now. The, I, the, I grab smaller pieces up here because I kind of want it to... Um, that looks a bit chunky. Anyway, let's see. Let's see where it gets us. So I continue it gets easier when you come down here. I continue to take little pieces. Let's see. Let's see if you can see this. See, I'm taking my finger, I'm sectioning off a piece and I'm twisting it back. Taking a piece back and I'm swapping it. And you can see right in there that's where the fish tail is starting where you can see it. Now this is not a very tight fish tail braid. This, I use large pieces for this, um, so, you know, it's, it depends on the day. Some days it'll look real fishtaily, other days it will look kind of like a, if a fishtail and a regular braid got together and had a baby. Um, and then I braid, oh, there's my clavages. Then I braid all the way down to the very end. I leave about this piece. I'm going to use a clear elastic band to 
tie that at the end. Securely. Now, let me sit down again here and have a look at this. Now, if you want to get all um, neat with it, I just like this. Sometimes I'll twist this into like a little twist here and then put it back into the braid. Um, uh, sometimes I'll take a bit of hairspray. I haven't used a Sebastian hairspray. It says it's a finishing one. Let's give it a go. Just for flyaways. I don't like using hairspray on my hair because it has alcohol in it. And um, alcohol belongs in many places, but it does not belong in your hair because it dries everything out. Again, that was the chair. And there we go. So that's how I do my, what do I call it, a fishtail braid. Um, it is not perfect. Sometimes I'll do it more perfect. Sometimes I'll do it sloppier. I'll pull out more pieces. You can pull out little pieces of hair here. You can pull it around your face. You can have bangs. You can do anything you want. To me, it's a great way to tie back third day hair, fourth day hair. You know, I don't like to wash my hair too frequently because I find that the natural, the more, the longer I leave the natural oils in my hair, the better condition my hair is in. And my hair is processed and it's long and I want to keep it long. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in my pantaloons. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.